full report of, of this. Loan. The former Prime Minister expressed concerns surrounding the use of loans allocated for COVID-19, stating the economy has derailed while the cost of goods and services continue to rise. He questioned the use of COVID-19 funding boasted by the ruling government. Is the Treasurer aware that our economy is now in recession? Is he aware that whilst loans are increasing, our exchange rate is declining, there is no foreign currency in, 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 in the country, inflation is going up, prices of tin fees and rice are going up, Mr. Speaker, investor confidence is down, and Mr. Speaker, unemployment is going up right throughout the country. What is your office doing to address these issues? In the past months, questions have been raised on the transparency of funds used by the National Pandemic Control Center. The former Prime Minister says despite talks of a stimulus package deliberately for a balance in the workforce and those that were stripped of the job, O'Neill says nothing good has happened. O'Neill also demanded for a specific answer when the Treasurer will present the financial report for the COVID-19 funds. COVID loans are now adding into billions of Kina, Mr. Treasurer. Uh, can you be assured this honorable house uh, where you are spending this money so that our people and our country uh, can be aware of the spending that you are uh, doing to address the COVID uh, spread that is happening far and wide in this country? Uh, could, could you give us the exact time frame when you will launch that full report of, of these loans that you are, you are getting. This was part of his response. Um, Mr. Speaker, there are two wars on COVID-19. Let's be clear about that. Uh, a health war and an economic war. <clears throat> Almost all of the 5.7 billion kina uh, was on the economic war. <clears throat> That's why we called it an economic stimulus package, not a COVID-19 health package. Uh, so overall, the economic stimulus package uh, performed quite well. Jack Lapava Jr., National MTV News.